pretty happy. Well, today's the day. What day? The day I've been saving up for. Hi. Hi. Look what Mum and Dad got me for my birthday. Another phone. We traded in the old one. We worked for five months to save up for mine. It's amazing. It takes photos and everything. That's the exact same one as I'm getting. No kidding. We can text each other. Oh, yeah. Tonight, I'll give you my number. I know they're my best friends and all, but both of them having a mobile phone? Okay, I'm jealous. Hang on! Nice phone. Two phones! Mm. Couldn't decide which one I like better, so... Leon, that's awesome. Where'd you get two phones? The flip phone was my brother's, and Dad fixed the blue phone. Five months. That's so cool. Reckon. Taylor, you have to get a phone. I don't have any money. Ask your parents. My parents. What's the worst they can say? No. no. Why not? You see this? It's your sister's latest phone bill. It's not my fault. I didn't know Eddie was going to break his wrist. In Tahiti? Or that we were going to break up. While he was in Tahiti. You've done it this time, Layla. We are not going to bail you out. You are going to pay this back all by yourself. Every last cent. Dad! Don't argue, Layla. It's about time you learned the meaning of the word responsibility. Uh, but what about me? Just because Layla's being irresponsible doesn't mean that I can't No. Have... It's not fair. Where is it? I'm way more responsible than Layla. It's got to be here. Are you listening to me? Oh, yeah. Check it out. The LXJ4000. Oh, no, you're showing me. I'll never get one. Hey, I can only get one because I have a job. Walking with dogs. It's still a job. Can I help you with anything? Yes, I'd like to buy a phone. Well, it's hard to go past this one. It's got polyphonic ringtones, FM radio, 22 games, and, and an integrated, an integrated camera, camera with digital, digital zoom. zoom. Been reading up. <laughs> Here's the paperwork. My mum signed them this morning. to get this jealousy thing under control. So, what do you want to do today? Do you want to go to the park or we could go to... <laughs> what? <laughs> Leon cracks me up. Leon? You don't even like Leon. Well, you've got to admire someone who's ambidextrous. I'll never be able to text. So I'll never own a phone. Buy one yourself. Get a job. Where? How am I supposed to know? Wait! Dad's having a stock take at the shop. Oh, he always needs to... <laughs> Help. Sorry, Squirt, I'm overstaffed. Overstaffed? Since when? I've just put someone on and there's not enough work for anyone else. Dad, where do you want these? Layla. Hi. I hope you're happy. Not only have you wrecked my chance of getting a phone, now you've wrecked my chance of getting a job, too. Check this. From Brittany. Cool phone, Hector. Where'd you get it? Mick, from Voice Links. I got a great plan. Hmm, I might head over there later this Salvo. Layla. Just to negotiate a debt payback scheme, of course. Of course. Suffer. <laughs> Maybe I should get a paper round. Leon, he wants to go fishing. Leon, fishing. You're Mr. Popular. Yeah, isn't it great? Leon, he's bringing the bait. You know, I don't think we can be best buddies anymore. Why not? Because there used to be two in this friendship. Now there's three. You, me, and your mobile phone. I'm sorry. But you know, you could get a job and buy your own. I tried that, remember? What's the matter? Something's happened. What? The dates for the Second Sight Convention have changed. Why? Unforeseen circumstances. So what's the problem? It's all been moved forward. I've got no one to look after my cats. The boarding places are full. I, I might be able to help you out there, Marge. On a 
professional basis, I mean. Oh, really, Taylor? That'd be marvellous. Are you quite sure about this? Feeding cats, Mum. It's not that hard. Oh, they're perfect little angels. I love them like my own babies. They won't be any trouble. But there is one teensy little catch. I was hoping to get my place fumigated while I was away. Have to bring them over here? Mum? Oh, well, I... oh, please, Mum. I'll take excellent care of them, I promise. You heard what Marge said. They're perfect angels. Oh, all right. Oh, fabulous. I'll just go and get them then, lovey. Now, this is Merlin. Oh, she's good, you see? Yes, she is. All right. And this... Oh, shush. Dear boy, what's the matter? This is Bobo. Aren't they adorable? I could think of a few other words for them. Now, one more thing. Name it. They have to have their Vitapus supplement every day with their food at 5.30pm or they can get a teensy bit touchy. No problem. Is that a flea? I beg your pardon? Sorry. Look, here's my card. You can call me any time you want to find out how your babies are going. Oh, see there. Look at that, boys. Mm, look how cute they are. They're so fluffy. Oh, that one. I'll pass. <coughs> they're weird. You're weird. No, seriously, they're spooky. I swear there was a flea. <coughs> Just because you're allergic doesn't mean you have to be nasty. So you're siding with the cats? Oh, they're so adorable. Oh. What was that? I think it growled. Cats don't growl. Like, do they purr? That was not a purr. <coughs> I think we should give them some space. Let them settle in. Good idea. So many choices. Why don't you get one like mine? It has over 4,000 ringtones. How are the cats settling in? Fine. So they've got litter? Yep. Water? Yep. And you've given them their bite puss? Not till 5.30. It's 6 o'clock. Can't be. <gasps> I can't believe I missed their dinner time. Who cares? I care. This is my first job and Marge said to give them their vitamins at 5.30. Newsflash, Taylor. Cats can't tell the time. I'll wait here. Here, puss, puss, puss. Saying more like it. I'm proud of you, Layla. You work really well today. Shows you've got a great work ethic. Like father, like daughter, eh? Daughter's done. Taylor's pet sitting Marge's cats. Well, well done, Squirt. Never too young to get a job. I'm saving up for a mobile phone. Oh, it's a big responsibility to have a mobile phone, Taylor. I can handle it. Yeah, right. So. You don't think I'm responsible? We'll see. See what? See how the pet sitting job goes. Yeah, if you can show us you're responsible, maybe we'll talk about it further. Easy? I don't know anyone who's more responsible than me. Feeding cats. That's not a real job. Neither is folding undies. Folding undies pays better. a few teething problems with the cat's territory issues. Oh. Nothing a super responsible person like myself can't handle. <laughs> you hang up. No, you hang up. Okay, ready? One, two, three. You were supposed to hang up. Layla, hang up already. I'm trying to sleep. No, it's just my sister. Don't worry about it. <laughs> just her sister? You hang up. I'll hang up. Hey! 
The only reason I'm out here is because those stupid cats have taken over my room. Not my fault. Yes, it is. If you hadn't have made eight billion phone calls and gotten into debt, I wouldn't have had to take the cat sitting job in the first place. Want to call someone who cares? You're the most selfish person I've ever met in my entire life. And you know what? The whole of Sunburn Beach knows that you're lazy and spoiled. And you've never done anything for anyone, ever. You're practically the walking definition of selfish. I just walk him for about 15 minutes a day. That's it? Yep. How come everyone else gets the cool jobs? You still haven't bonded with those two evil cats, huh? Not exactly. Merlin even scratched me this morning. I don't know what I've done to make them so mad. Yeah, well, look on the bright side. It's a job. Soon it will be over and you'll get paid. How much do you think I'll get? Well, I get 10 for the dogs. Maybe 30 bucks? I don't think I can keep this up. Kayla, well, don't get me wrong. I mean, I hate the cats. But how hard can it be? All you have to do is feed them. Oh, no. What's the time? 20 plus five. I've only got 10 minutes to get them their vitamins. Come on. OK, I have to drive off the dog. <laughs> shove it in there and run. Aren't you coming? Not a chance. Hello, you all right? Hello. Hello, lovey, it's Marjorie. Oh, uh, you, just a sec. <gasps> it's Marge. It's for you. Hi, Marge. Taylor, how are my babies? Yes, they're fine. Are they behaving? Gorgeous little things. They seem to really like me. That's wonderful. They're being perfect angels. Oh, thanks, Taylor. Yes, all right. You take care then, Marge. Bye. Bye. They're evil. They hate me. What are we going to do? Follow me. Don't look directly into their eyes. That's my brand new strawberry lip gloss. What else have they destroyed? <laughs> They're wrecking the place, Hector. We've got to do something. We... I'll give you $1,000 if you let me off the hook. You don't have $1,000. Good point. Would you settle for 10? Nope. Good luck. Oh. They've totally wrecked my room. Told you those cats were evil. <laughs> Marge will kill me if I lose those cats. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Bye bye. Here, puss. Kitty, kitty. Bye bye. Melon. Bye-bye. Melon. Oh, no. I can't have gone outside. I'm dead. I'm so dead. They could be anywhere. Yep, which means the search and rescue's over. No, it's not. Why don't you just get her some new cats? She doesn't want new cats, Hector. She wants these ones. She trusted me to look after them. You've lost them. I haven't lost them. I've just temporarily misplaced them. Besides, wouldn't be very responsible to let my first customer down. I'm gonna find those cats. And you're helping. Anything? Nothing. Ah! Hey, Taylor, you scared me! You sneezed. It's
it's a talent. No, it means they must be in here. <laughs> kitty, kitty, kitty. <gasps> <laughs> What? I think I've got a good idea. No! This is ridiculous! Please, Hector, I'm desperate. It's humiliating, demeaning even. Come on, just do it. Anything? Not even a tickle. They're not here, Taylor. Endure it. I'm gonna tell Marge now. I don't know the truth. Oh. I failed, Hector, big time. So much for being responsible. Mum and Dad will never let me get a phone now. You're exaggerating. I'm not. You are. I'm seriously not. You seriously are. Marge loves those cats. They're like her family, her babies. Oh no, it's Marge. She's on her way home. You don't have to stay, Hector. You can go hang around with Brittany and Leon and all your mobile phone buddies. <laughs> Fluffy, woofy, baby, mummy, miss you. Yes, she does. <coughs> oh, yes, thanks for looking after them, Lappy. Uh, so are you happy with the job I did, looking after the cats? Through to bits, Lappy. Through to bits, yes. She really put a lot of effort into it. And time. I'd say it was a job well done, wouldn't you? <laughs> really worth it. You got that bit right. Why don't you two pop out and grab yourself some ice creams? My way of thanking you. Oh, come here, love you. Get you home for some special little little dee dee dee. Bye, lovies. You know, this is typical. Everyone thinks they could take advantage of a small fry. Thanks again. Oh, great. Here comes Princess Layla. I sense a little angst. If she didn't get into trouble with her phone, I would have got one. If she didn't get the job at Dad's shop, he would have hired me. And if she okay, didn't get... Okay, okay, I get it. Oh, look at it, Don. <laughs> She's been trying so hard. Maybe she got all the responsible genes and Layla missed out. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe we should consider a mobile. Even just a prepaid one. Hmm. Maybe, maybe next year. Can you guys come inside for a second? There's something I need to say. Yeah? Unless it's I'm sorry for the way I acted, you deserve a mobile phone. So here, take mine. I don't want to know. I'm sorry for the way I acted. You deserve to have a mobile phone, so... Here, have mine. I know I've been selfish in the past and thoughtless, irresponsible even, so this is just my way of making it up to you. What? I'm just trying to make things right. Please take it. Why 
fine. I, I can't take a fine. I was just kidding. Hey, Layla. Fine, then give it to someone else. I've got the latest model now. The LXJ 5000. 5000? But the 4000 was the latest. I just got it three days ago. It hasn't been officially released yet. Well, how'd she get one? Layla's working with us at Voice Links now. On Saturdays. It's company policy for all employees to have the latest model. It's good marketing. What about the massive debt? Oh, we've negotiated some excellent payback terms. <laughs> I've got till 2020. I can't believe she got the LXJ 5000. Who cares? I've got a phone. Go home so you can text me. OK. okay. Hello, Hector? No, this isn't Layla. She's got a new number. No, I don't know it. Bye. Hector? <sighs> no, this is Taylor. This is my number now. Layla's phone. Is that a flea? Uh-oh. Oh, I think this cat's might have left us a little goodbye present. What was that? That was just Hector. 